do I become a model? How many times do I get that question? So here, I wanna give you the basics. First of all, you need to know which type of modeling you fit into. There is fashion models, commercial models that do more catalogs and e-commerce, and there's also Instagram models. They have their whole career, they handle it themselves, they're their own agents, and they do everything on Instagram. And there's also TV commercial models. They mainly do TV commercials, and also they kind of want to go towards acting with that. So the first thing you need to know is you need to find the right agent. Google, do your research, make sure they're serious. Do they work with big models? Do they work with good brands? And then once you can trust them, go and check their website. There's always instructions there on how you can sign. They either do open calls, maybe now virtual calls, and also some of them, you can post a photo on Instagram and hashtag them. They have a hashtag specifically to find new girls. So make sure that you look pretty and natural in a natural light because they don't like to see a lot of makeup. Once you have found your agency, you have applied, they're gonna ask you to either come in and they're gonna have to take digitals. They want you to come in a tank top and skinny jeans, all black. They just wanna see your, your frame, natural makeup, hair down, and they just wanna see how you move in front of the camera. So practice in front of a mirror, practice with a friend, have them take photos of you, Google models digital so you can see how they do it and be ready for that. But most of all, just be you, show your personality, relax, you know, cause they wanna see who you are and your personality. That experience will come with work. They are there to guide you, to help you and they will help you along the way. So when I started, I didn't know how to pose, I didn't know how to walk on the runway, so I practiced, and also by working I got experience. But the more you practice at home and learn, and now guys, there's so many resources you can learn on YouTube, you can, again, practice in front of the mirror, you can watch these TV shows about models, there's so much, so many opportunities to learn, but always develop your skills. I think a great tip is to take a dance class or an acting class because those things help you get out of your shell, be more comfortable in your skin, move your body. There's a little bit of acting behind every photo, how a model interacts with the camera. You have to feel something inside when you look in the camera. There's also a little bit of a dance where you move. You gotta flow in front of the camera. So that's a great thing for you to do because you need to move like a butterfly in front of the camera. You can't be stiff. You gotta learn how to be comfortable and flow and listen to the music and that's gonna help you a lot. Yeah, guys, because like I said, they wanna see your natural beauty, your raw beauty and Beauty is not everything in modeling. You have to have the personality, the, you have to be professional. There's so much behind. So when you submit that photo, be sure not to send anything with a lot of makeup, fake lashes, or even Photoshop. They wanna see you natural. And once you're researching for the agency, some agencies are super famous because they're huge. They have Giselle, they have Gigi Hadid. <laughs> But listen guys, sometimes a small boutique agency will do way more for you than a huge agency because you're gonna be a new girl in a huge agency with competing with all these big models. It works for some girls, it doesn't work for others. I started in a huge agency in New York and then for a while I moved to a smaller agency because I wanted to get more attention and it worked. I was able to book huge campaigns huge uh, magazines and then once I built my portfolio then I moved back to a bigger agency and then I was able to get the big clients big brands so you have to be smart and talk to people and learn what's best for you I made another video where you talk about the business side of modeling and I'm gonna link it here down below you have to be able to handle rejection since we're talking about how to become a model you may go see an agency and they will say no because maybe your look at the time is not what they're looking for you not be, be right for that agency because there is such a thing. I wasn't right for every modeling agency and you have to know that. So maybe try three, four more agencies before you give up. You have to try different agencies. There's certain clients you're not gonna be right for. So don't take it personally because it's all just a business and you may not fit this one client, but you will fit another one. So don't give up. Guys, show up looking fresh hair groomed and clean. They prefer nails that are nude color when you go see them and just look great. Have some great high heels. If you're not comfortable in walking on high heels, I suggest you practice before. 
But most importantly, when you show up, be relaxed, be excited, be happy, and show them your personality. That's what they wanna see. And please don't be late. <laughs> Always be on time, okay? If they book a time for you to come meet them or or call them, or they're expecting an email back from you, whatever it is, always be professional and be on time. And you may be waiting for a while and don't show up in front of the agent mad or grumpy because <laughs> you've been waiting, because waiting is part of the modeling business. When you go to that open call, when you go meet them, whatever that is, just always have a good attitude. Put a smile on your face, be professional, and that's gonna help you along the way and it's gonna take you so much further. And just know, going into it, are you willing to travel all over the world by yourself? When I started, I went to Europe by myself when I was 16 and I didn't speak any English. I got on the plane because my mom had work. She could not leave work to come with me. A lot of models, the mom do come with them. So in my situation, my mom couldn't. So are you willing to travel the world? Are you willing to learn new languages? Are you willing to move to Milan for three months and learn how to get around on your own? Or Paris or New York? Listen, it's all super exciting, but you're gonna travel all over the world and you're gonna be alone in hotels a lot, so you have to be ready for that. Are you willing to shoot fur on the beach on a super hot summer day or shoot bikini in the snow? <laughs> Are you willing to wake up at 3 a.m. because they went in hair and makeup at 5 to get that sunset light? And with a good attitude. <laughs> Are you willing to be super jet lag and then go to work the next day and not have a bad attitude. Because again, um, so many times I would fly from New York to Europe and then not be able to sleep at night because of the time difference. And then the next morning I had to show up to work and it was a long day, a lot of pictures to be taken, but have a good attitude. Or you're moving from fashion week to fashion week, different countries, and you're exhausted and you're every day for like three times a day, you have a different hair, a different makeup. It looks super cool when you're watching it on TV, but once you're in it, you have to know that. Are you willing to color and cut your hair? <laughs> that happens so many times. Either the agency wants to get a specific look for you or you book a hair campaign. Are you willing to cut and color your hair? Are you willing to ride a camel or be wrapped in a snake? Obviously, you can say no if you're not comfortable with it. For example, I cannot do the snake. I once lost a huge campaign because they wanted me to be wrapped in a huge snake and I just can't do it. I would just waste their time. I wouldn't be able to do it. So you have to know your limits as well, but you have to be willing to be throwing all the situations. Are you willing to do it? And guys, listen to your parents, have them around as much as possible. Bring your mom with you to all the agency meetings, travel with you, whatever you can, and just be willing to do all these things and have fun. And the last thing is, are you willing to leave last minute for a shoot? In the beginning of my career, I was in school, but sometimes if I got a call, I had to leave that night to go to Sao Paulo, shoot all day, and then come back and be in school the next day. Once I just became a full-time model, I would get a call on an afternoon. That, that night, I had to jump on a plane to go to London or whatever, and or the next morning and pack for a week because you're gonna be gone for two weeks. So are you willing to be a last minute? Are you willing to have a last minute situation thrown on you and you gotta go? <laughs> so guys, these are the things you need to know before becoming a model. Now the size and measurements, um, you gotta check what type of modeling business you're getting into. If you wanna be a runway model, you do have to be at least 5'9 to 6 foot tall. Um, and six foot, I think is the limit. If you're gonna be more of a commercial model, you don't need to be that tall. I have some friends that are models that are not super tall, but they're beautiful and they do all the beauty campaigns and some girls just love doing TV commercials. That's all they wanna do. So you have to figure out which one you're going to and then see the measurements, the requirements by that agency. Guys, I hope you enjoyed my video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, please let me know. I would love to make more videos for you. Good luck. I hope your dream comes true.